Hello students, let us discuss anomalous properties of second period elements. As we have discussed in the previous video that the elements in a group having same valence electron and they have same valency. Just when we consider the group first, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, they have same valence electron and they have same valency that is equal to 1. So because of this reason they show same physical and chemical properties. Similarly in each group they have same number of valence electron therefore they have same number of valency. So because of this reason they can form show similar properties. But it is observed that the first element of each group that is lithium of the first group, beryllium of the second group, boron of 13 group, carbon from 14 group and so on. That means the each in the group, that means in each group the first member it show many differences from its own members. Like the lithium shows anomalous behavior when it is compared with the other alkali metals. Similarly, the beryllium shows differences from its own members. Own members means magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium. These are the members of the beryllium family. So it shows differences from its own family members. But instead of showing similarity to its own members, it shows similarity to its diagonal element like lithium instead of showing similarity to its own members it shows similarity with magnesium beryllium shows similarity with aluminium boron with silicon carbon with phosphorus nitrogen with sulfur so that is called as a diagonal relationship that means the elements of the second group shows similarity to its diagonal element. This is called as diagonal element. Like lithium shows similarity with magnesium, beryllium with aluminium, boron with silicon, carbon with phosphorus. So such a relationship is called as a diagonal relationship. The similarity in properties of the elements present diagonally is called as diagonal relationship. So what we can say, it is observed that some elements of second period show similarity with the element of third period present diagonally to each other. This similarity in properties of elements present diagonally is called as diagonal relationship. Such properties are called as anomalous properties. So we come up with a word here. What is anomalous property? As we have discussed, the elements of the second group show similarity to its diagonal element. That relationship is called as diagonal relationship. For example, lithium instead of showing similarity to the sodium, it shows similarity to its diagonal element that is magnesium. Beryllium that is a member in the family second group family the first member beryllium instead of showing similarity to the magnesium it shows similarity to its diagonal element aluminium so such relationship between the diagonal elements here it is diagonal element are called as diagonal relationship and such properties which is uh, are called as anomalous properties let us see what are the reason for this. First reason, the small size of the atom. That means the element of the first member of each family are smaller in size. That is the reason. Large charge, high electronegativity, non-availability of d orbital in their valence shell. What it means? The second period element that in this the outermost shell is 2. Second period element outermost shell is 2. We know that the orbitals in the second shell are 
2s and 2p. Here 2d is not there. So we can say that there is a non-availability of d orbital. In the second period element, the d orbitals are not available in the valence shell. Because of this reason, they show anomalous behavior like expansion of a oxidation state is not possible in this. So this is all we will be going to discuss more in detail when we will be discussing the P block and S block elements. So what are the reasons? That is the small size of the atom, large charge, high electronegativity and non-availability of d orbitals in their valence shell. Because of these reasons, the second period element that is the first member of the family shows differences with its own member but shows similarity to the diagonal element. So that is all we will be going to discuss more in detail when we are discussing the S block and P block chapters. So this is all about the diagonal relationship. Its definition is important. Usually the question comes here that is the definition what is anomalous property or what is the diagonal relationship. This definition are usual in the examination. So, all of you learn it properly. Thank you everyone.